In upcoming EastEnders episodes, George faces new heartbreak as he confronts his adoptive mother Gloria over her role in his birth father's murder. Meanwhile, Bernie seeks revenge on Sharon for Keanu's death, and Phil faces accusations. Tragedy strikes as Gloria collapses, forcing George to reconcile with her amidst a complex web of lies and deceit. Spoilers for EastEnders, Broken Gloria, George's mother, is exiled, but tragedy strikes. In forthcoming scenes on EastEnders, George Knight will experience further heartbreak as adoptive mother Gloria struggles to keep her distance from her murdering husband Eddie. Eddie is on trial right now for the racial murder of Henry, George's biological father, 40 years ago. Recently, Henry's body was recovered from a canal while packed in a suitcase. Eddie and Gloria hinted that they intended to make amends with their soon when they initially moved into the Queen Vic at the beginning of the year, but it eventually turned out that their intentions were darker than first believed. George was shocked to hear that he was actually adopted from West Africa as part of a baby farming arrangement. George had long yearned to understand the truth about his ancestry, having initially thought himself to be Jamaican. Henry died because Gloria had made Eddie swear to do whatever it needed to keep their kid when his parents came back to take him home. George's view of his early years has been completely destroyed by the information, and he now wonders if he would have been content with his real family. He contemplated lying or revealing the true nature of his father, who is a despicable person, as he made his way to the courtroom to provide a character reference. In upcoming scenes, Gloria will provide the CPS with fresh information regarding Eddie, and they will contact George ahead of the trial to let him know. She urges him to testify when they get to the Vic, but when he hears her talking to his dad on the phone, he becomes enraged because she is obviously unable to turn her back on him. Ex-wife Cindy Beale strikes up a conversation with her after shoving her out of the pub, and she later begs George to talk to his mother, but he's determined that she stay away. Gloria collapses in the hallway outside the courthouse during a heated exchange, and she is taken to the hospital immediately after having a heart attack. Feeling terrible all the time, Phil Mitchell persuades George to make apologies before it's too late, and he goes to her bedside to remember his early years. As Sharon Watts is being held for Keanu's murder in EastEnders, Bernie Taylor swears retaliation against her. This post contains spoilers for this Thursday's episode of EastEnders, which you can view on BBC iPlayer right now even though it hasn't yet broadcast on television. When Bernie Taylor learned that her brother Keanu was the body under the cafe in a recent EastEnders scene, she was heartbroken. On Christmas Day, Linda Carter fatally stabbed Keanu, and the remaining members of the six assisted in burying his body. The floor of the diner fell in more recent scenes, and unfortunate Bernie was the one who discovered the body. Bernie couldn't believe what she was hearing when the police told her that Keanu Taylor's body was found in tonight's episode. Sharon Watts was then obliged to pretend that she was unaware of the dreadful news when police visited her to break the news. After the cops departed, Kathy Beale stopped over to see Sharon. She advised her to go see Bernie since that's what she would do if she had truly just learned about the news for the first time. Bernie bemoaned to Sharon that she was unable to comprehend what Keanu had done to merit this, and even though she was the one Keanu was strangling, which is what prompted Linda to stab him, Sharon showed no signs of understanding. She would still be able to be Bernie's big sister, she said, and would watch out for her. Sharon urged Bernie to give her a few more hours of happiness after she confessed that she had no idea how to break the terrible news to her mother Karen. Naturally, Sharon's true motivation for keeping Karen in the dark was her fear that Karen would report to the authorities her suspicions that Sharon had a hand in Keanu's death. Felix Baker became worried when he learned that Sharon had prevented Bernie from telling Karen about Keanu's passing and that Bernie had been listening to Keanu's voicemail from Christmas Day, in which Keanu told Karen that Sharon was playing with his head and that he was taking Albie to Spain. Felix pushed Bernie to show the message to the police, suspecting she was involved in it. Subsequently, Sharon was taken aback when the investigator disclosed that he had obtained fresh evidence indicating Keanu intended to abduct Albie. Since Keanu and Sharon were already in a difficult situation prior to Keanu's disappearance, this provided Sharon with a motivation for Keanu's murder. After being shocked to learn that she had been charged with murder, Sharon quickly convinced Bernie of her innocence. Bernie threatened Sharon, saying she would receive what was due to her, as a guilty Linda looked on. In EastEnders, Sharon is about to meet her demise as Phil is charged with murder. 
Next week on EastEnders, there will be devastating developments as the consequences of Keanu Taylor's murder Rock Walford and the Knight family experiences yet more catastrophe. The other ladies devise a new scheme because Sharon Watts is being investigated by the police for Keanu's murder, but may Linda Carter ruin it? Disgruntled neighbors are accusing Phil Mitchell of various things on the square itself, while other fingers are pointing elsewhere. In another scene, following yet another tumultuous exchange, George Knight snaps at his mother Gloria. Could it be too late for him to make things right when she is hurried to the hospital? On Monday, April 8, Johnny is Sharon's representative. After being arrested, Sharon spent the night at the police station. When the detective presents more evidence, both of them start to waver in Sharon's account. Before being questioned by the police once more, Johnny and the women get together back in Walford. Later on, when Johnny gets home without Sharon, Kathy and Suki share a fresh scheme. Zach declines Phil's request to watch Albie while Sharon is being questioned. The gossip mill is still going strong on the square as locals support Bernie during her time of need. Felix accuses Phil of being the one who defended Sharon after Phil speaks up, but just as things are heating up, Kat shows up. Later, after talking with Kat, Phil is given some food for thought. He overhears a conversation between Denise and Stacy and makes Denise an offer. Bernie departs from Walford to go see Karen in Spain and let her know that Keanu has passed away. When George gets a call from the CPS, he is taken aback to learn that Gloria has provided them with information about Eddie before she even gets to the Vic and is urging George to testify. Later, after realizing that Gloria can't abandon Eddie, George becomes enraged and asks his mother to permanently remove herself from his life after overhearing a covert phone contact between Gloria and Eddie. Later on in the Vic, Jack is able to keep things under control even though Linda and Cindy start fighting over Sharon. Later on, Jack confides in Denise that he wants to make amends, but he is devastated when she rejects him. Tuesday, April 9, Linda is shocked to learn of the women's new scheme involving the murder weapon, but Johnny assures her that he will resolve the situation by securing Sharon's release. While drinking at the barrel store, Linda is consoled by George while she decides what to do with her life. Phil cuts them off as the other women reveal the new plot to a frightened Denise. Linda calls the ladies over to the Vic. In an attempt to confront Dean, Harvey visits Jade and takes the pill box, however, Dean manipulates the story and keeps blaming Harvey and Jean. As they argue on the square, Stacy and Linda watch. As Eddie stands trial, George prepares to testify. After speaking with Gloria in private, Cindy tries to persuade George to speak with her as well, but George declines. Eddie later calls George to the boxing den and attempts to talk him out of testifying. Eddie threatens to kill George when he loses it and says Gloria pushed him to testify. Yolanda is consoled by Honey and Billy after being forced out of her charitable efforts. Yolanda is urged by Denzel to go to prayer group, but he has secretly made plans for her and Nugget to meet some girls at number 20. As Denzel lies to Nugget about stopping his steroids, they manage to mend their friendship, but Yolanda's return throws a wrench in their plans. Wednesday, April 10, George keeps excluding Elaine, but she teams up with Cindy when she shows up to make him tell everything. George is persuaded to testify against Eddie by Elaine and Cindy, but to Eddie's dismay during the cross-examination by Eddie's defense team, Gloria yells in court. Eddie glares at George and Gloria as the court adjourns. Gloria can barely control her emotions and storms out of the courtroom, collapsing outside. Yolanda's refusal to attend prayer group and her altercation with Pastor Clayton outside the community center upset Denzel. Returning to number 20, Yolanda apologizes for her charges and Pastor Clayton reassigns her to lead their charitable efforts while they chastise Denzel for his rudeness. In the process, they mend their friendship. Thursday, April 11, following a heart attack, Gloria awakens in the hospital and requests George to get a box from her apartment that holds significant information about his early years. George is overcome with recollections when he arrives in the apartment. After learning that Ben has been given a six-year term, Phil interrupts George as he is making his way to the boxing den Phil gives George some advice and persuades him to return to the hospital. George joins Gloria on the bed to listen to a recorded lullaby from George's biological mother, which sends them both on a trip down memory lane. After Linda fabricates a tale for the police, they begin to question why she initially suppressed this information. 
When Billy cancels their extended shopping appointment, Honey is irritated, but Jay supports him because it's obvious Billy is up to something. Please subscribe our channel.